Hi everyone, it's Teacher Burnett and welcome back to our Thursday morning room. Now, if today is Thursday, what day was it yesterday? Wednesday, that's right. And what day comes before Wednesday? What? Tuesday, very good. And what day comes before Tuesday? Monday, that is right. And... Can you remember the names of the days of the week? All 10,000? Are you sure? Oh, there's not 10,000. Really? How many are there? Seven days of the week. So, to make sure that we know all the names of the days of the week, let's sing our song. One, two, three. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good, everyone. Now that we've done the days of the week, we have to remember all one million names for the months of the year, right? What? Not a million? Are you sure? How many are there then? Twelve? Only twelve? Can you remember the names then? Let's find out. One, two, three. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Did you count 12? Are you sure? Very good. 12 months of the year. And now, of course, our alphabet song, because it is our favorite song to sing, so we have to sing it. Are you ready? One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good, everyone. So what I want you to do for next week is to figure out how many letters are there in the alphabet. Because we know that there are seven days in a week and 12 months in a year. But how many letters are there in the alphabet? So next week we'll look a little bit at that. So I hope you go and count all your letters to know just how many letters you have in the alphabet. Okay, and now it's time for some counting. So, you know what to do. Watch my hands and follow along with me to make sure that you are listening to the number, looking at what I'm doing to count the number with your body, and saying the number. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and then 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 and then 70. Very good everyone. So now that we've done our days of the week, months of the year, alphabet and numbers, it's time to go over our themes for the week. And our theme this week is, can you remember? 
It's about dressing warm and staying toasty and about the weather changing. It's all about winter, that is correct. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the different plants and animals in winter and the different things that they do to survive winter because what well, what do we do to survive winter? We make our homes warm, we make our beds warmer by putting blankets on it, we make our bodies warmer by using hot water bottles, gloves, beanies, ear warmers, jackets, scarves, boots, socks, you name it. So we do a lot of different things to survive the winter so that we stay nice and warm. But do animals do the same? Some animals definitely do. So if you have pets, you will notice that their fur or their hair got a little bit thicker um, last season. And last season was autumn when it starts getting a little bit colder. So if they have a little bit more hair um, when winter starts so that they are warmer. Uh, some birds don't do that. What am I saying? What do birds do? So what birds can do is they can puff up their chest, so they can puff up their feathers so that it looks like there's more and that way they stay warmer because there's more feathers for them to stay warm. And also if they do get wet, their bodies won't get wet because feathers are almost waterproof. So if they get wet, the water will just slide off of their backs or off of their feathers because the water can't actually get through the feathers because the feathers are waterproof. And some animals, like bears that we don't really have in South Africa, uh, hedgehogs and porcupines, some hamsters, and I'm sure there are quite a few others, but if you know a few others, let me know. So these animals hibernate. Now what does hibernation mean? Well, if you hibernate, it means that in autumn, before it gets really cold, you get all the food you think you'll need. So you'll get extra food and you'll store it inside your house or inside a cave or inside a hole, depending on where that animal lives. And then for the whole of winter, so all three months of winter, they try and sleep. So all they do is sleep. And when they wake up during the winter, they already have their food in their homes with them. So they don't have to go outside into the cold to get more food. They just eat and drink in their homes and then go back to sleep. We definitely don't do that because we still need to go out, we still need to play, we still need to do everything, we still need to learn. So that is what we do in winter and that is what some animals do in winter as well. Now let's talk a little bit about plants. Plants are a little bit different. Some plants don't change. They are called evergreen plants, which means that they stay green for all four seasons. Um, they don't lose their leaves in autumn. They don't change color. Some, some leaves do change a bit of color depending on how much sun they get. Um, but they stay exactly as they are. They keep growing in winter. They keep flowering in winter. All these things. Um, so they don't really change in winter. Other plants lose all their leaves so that they don't have to use all their energy to get water and to get nutrients and food from the earth to feed all the leaves and the flowers. So all they have to do is feed the trunk. So all they have to do is feed the wood and some of the branches that they have and to make sure that when the warmer weather comes back they can start gulping up more water and more nutrients so that the leaves and the flowers and the fruits and the veggies can start growing when the weather is perfect for them to come out. So if you know specific plants or animals that you want to learn more about and what they do during winter, go google it, go find out, go ask mommy or daddy or auntie or uncle or gogo or nkulu or granny or grandpa or whoever's with you and see if they know and if they don't know, always ask google. Um, and find out pictures, find out more information because you know what, learning is a lot of fun. So the more you can learn, the better. 
And I hope you all had fun and learned a lot about winter this week. And I'll see you all later for some fun activities. Bye, everyone. <laughs>